guys, it's Tyler and Nate with Roxy Music, and today we're going to review some LTD guitars. Hey guys, we're back, and like we said before, we're reviewing LTD by ESP. So what does that stand for? Uh, Electric sound products? Is yes. that, that's right. That's, that's, what that's what ESP stands for. Electric sound products. And the uh, LTD is their limited line yeah. of their guitars. And it's typically their cheaper lines. Cheaper line. More affordable. But, I mean, they're not cheap. This one's 1500 No. Yeah, that, that, that's a killer guitar right there. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite guitars in the shop. Uh, we've said it before standing around here when we chat and stuff, but the LTD car guitars have the best black yes, color. They do. It, it stands out from the other blacks. And their gold is awesome. On the black, it works so well. Yeah, yeah, the and contrast. I don't normally like gold. Oh, you don't? I, I always, I always think it looks cool. I don't, no, I'm not a huge fan of most gold hardware, but I really like this guitar. There you go. This guitar, like, just look, I think it just needs the contrast well. The, yeah, the contrast makes it pop, for sure. Um, that helps. Like there's some guitars we have like that just I don't. It get doesn't it. do it for you. No, that's okay. Yeah. So what 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 else can you tell us about this so Viper series? This is obviously uh, very similar to a Gibson SG. It's got the look. Yep, but they slightly offset the horns. So oh yeah, the horns aren't at the same height like they are in an SG. Yeah. They're offset pretty well, which I think looks sharp. Mm -hmm. Makes it look unique. We got Fishman Fluence pickups. They're active pickups. Um, and so you can get, but you can still pull this up to get different voicings for it. Um, so here's like bridge pickup with the main voice. Sounds like that. And then if you put the second voice. All right. Let's try it on the neck pickup. Second voice. I like it. I like it. Um, it sounds very similar. Let's try it clean. Yeah, let's hear that. Uh, I noticed more of a difference when you were on the, the bridge pickup. Yeah. Oh, it's splitting it for sure. Yep. It's not splitting it. It though. doesn't split it's it? It's active. Okay. So you can't. Oh, I didn't know that. So do you know what it's doing in there? It's so it changes the voice of the pickup. So is that like an EQ thing kind of thing? EQ, um, probably, because that's, but you can like, yeah, you can boost certain frequencies. And that sounds really stratty. It does. Yeah, and then you go. All right, all right, yeah. I can see what you're doing there. Yeah, sounds great. Looks fantastic. Let's go back to that drive sound so we can get it. That's really what these things are made to do. That's clearly the sound. Yeah. I don't know, but I, I, that, that to me sounds like you're just, it just is making you be quieter. It, yes, it does. It, yeah. it is losing quite a bit. What surprises me on the active pickup, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think they would build it in. They're, like Ibanez does like power tapping where it definitely has a single coil sound but doesn't lose all of that, which... <laughs> Wow, 
less noticeable on the hard drive. It's less noticeable with the overdrive from the amp. Yeah. For sure. And that makes more sense to me than just killing killing half your sound there. Yes. Yeah. Um, Which probably means it's just an EQ thing. Mm -hmm. So it's really just not losing volume, but it's just losing a ton of frequencies that mm -hmm. you need. Yeah. Which that could also help you when you have a ton of overdrive yeah. too. It can give you a cleaner sound. Yeah, so this Viper is great. It has locking tuners, stays in tune super well. Oh yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, what other Vipers do they have? So we have a couple of different finishes in these Vipers. This is a 1000 model. I think that's the same as that yeah, one too, right? So this is, this is that same model with a different finish, um, different appointments with the different hardware and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but really we're doing the same thing here. Uh, the pickups are different. Mm -hmm. These are Seymour Duncans. Yeah. And those, uh, is there a battery on the back? They're probably passive. Those are passive pickups. So these are passive pickups. So that's our main difference in the price there. This is, I think, $9.99. Oh, $10.99. And this is $15.99. $14.99. $14, $15. Something like that. Yeah. Then we also have this one. This and if like, you're looking to get a guitar, like this is a great beginner guitar to get into. This is the Olympic white model. Yeah. It still has the push pull. Mm hmm. But I imagine that on this one is probably just a coil tap. Yep, it's if it's probably passive, not. which is probably... Yes, this is yeah. a passive guitar as well. Yeah. It's got and the black hardware. if you're not sure how to tell, if there's not a battery, it's passive. That's a good, good rule there. I notice that one doesn't have a pick guard. That's always interesting to me. I often wonder how they decide if they're going to put a pick guard on a guitar <laughs> or not. It seems arbitrary to me. <laughs> It's probably an aesthetic thing. Oh, and then and then this one is the most affordable one. This yeah. one's four ninety nine. Yeah, it's a and great so, place to get started if yeah. you're looking. Two fifty six. Especially if you're like into metal and stuff, and you like don't have a huge budget. Uh, Viper two fifty six or any um, LTD in the two two hundred line would work great. Yeah, these are the guitars that are built for playing. Yeah, like that. I. I really like these guitars. This one especially. Like this is prop. Like I said before, this is probably one of my favorite guitars in the shop that we have. I like this Viper body style. Yeah. I like I like the offset. Mm -hmm. I think I like it more than like the SG look. Mm -hmm. I definitely. So, I absolutely do. If you don't, that's cool. That's just. Yeah. No, you you can have you can have your opinion. I like the offset because I just like things that aren't so cookie cutter and straight straight yeah. up and down. Yeah. I like the surprises. Well, all right, we got some other guitars here too, yeah. don't we? Let's let's move on to another line. Of yeah. Guitars. Up next, we have the MH series, which is also a part of the LTD line. Um, so this guitar has a Floyd Rose bridge, and it's kind of more of a shredder guitar. It's got a, a humbucker single single coil configuration, so it's very stratty. Has the strat by the body style. Um, they do really cut into the neck here. Yeah, it's pretty deep So you're deep basically, lower cut you're almost to the 24th fret on this cut. So you can really get into the upper register. Yeah, so like you're not, most of the time you're like back here is when you, and then you have to stretch. Now you're here and you're straight Your on. pinky's almost just right there at the highest yeah, note. Yeah, which is nice. Um, <laughs> Is out of tune. Good thing I kept a tuner on hand. Alright, so. Frets are still really small, so it's hard for me to reach. <laughs> So when you're playing, uh, and you're going from the upper register and sliding down, is there a, like on this guitar, compared to the, the Viper that we were just looking at, is, does either one, does, does, the, does, does the cutout make it easier to reach that upper register for you, or like? It's definitely you easier to get up here, um, and like probably do. Definitely easier to reach that on this guitar. That kind of is really nice for higher range. 
And when you said earlier, you said this is a, definitely a shredder guitar. Do you mean like you you feel more compelled to maybe play more lead stuff or single note stuff instead of the chugging along yeah, it's metal more, rhythm guitar so that you were playing earlier? It makes more sense on this guitar because of the a big reason is the Floyd Rose in the pickup configuration. So like you can get some chuggy sounds out of this bridge pickup. It's not going to do as much as like these fluence pickups because that's what those are like designed to do. So this one like is going to cut through some more and it's going to and like when you go to the neck pickup and stuff, you're not going to it's hard to get a chuggy tone out of a single coil. Yeah, okay, I can see. Not that. impossible. Not easy. Well, yeah, well you can always add we can always add in other stuff. Yeah. Right. But you're going to get the best tone out of something with a humbucker. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. yeah. Then Floyd Rose, so you want your trim bar there. And you can play with that. Gotta have the tremolo. Gotta yeah. have it. That scares and frightens me. <laughs> Not so. Maybe if you guys are lucky, we'll we'll convince Reed to come in here and do some some special moves with yeah, the whammy. He's better at this. He knows all, thing he knows all the tricks. Don't tell him I told you that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, we have another uh, yeah, an, 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 uh, another in the MH line, and this one's a baritone guitar. Yeah. You were playing this one in the intro. I was. Th it, that one is awesome too. Has those e has EMG pickups, which our fan, our cameraman David loves EMG pickups. <laughs> he won't use anything else. <laughs> but they sound great. Plays great. Um, and, and besides the obvious difference of this having the two humbuckers, yeah. we're really dealing with pretty much the same body style. Same body style. The bridge is set. Bridge is set on this one. Doesn't have a stop tail though. No stop tail. About the same cut. This has an, a cool binding around the edge yeah. that really sets off the black. The, I'd, the LTD black. It's Dude, fantastic. Winning, winning again here. Yeah. Actually, LTD does colors really well. Their designs are beautiful. I, I could, I like I, this blue quilted top. I love fantastic. the quilted top. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, and you can split this bridge pickup still. Okay. Which is interesting to me. Um, That's just more tonal options. Yeah. That's smart. Which on I their think part, it makes think. more sense on a like strat style guitar like this. <laughs> Then you get some like telly tones out of it that you mm -hmm. normally can't get on a be a little bit thinner sound there. Yeah. yeah. And like on a strat style, it makes a lot of sense because if you're on this pickup and switch to this one, you're not gonna lose a ton of volume by going to it. Oh, you can keep have it or pre-pulled there, yeah. right? Yeah. And I I actually like it too because on solos with my, my strat is a HSS style strat. So when I go to my bridge pickup, it gives it a little boost in volume and like volume because you're pushing more through, mm -hmm. which you can do on this guitar and it will get, make solo shine really well, um, which I really like. And then pull it and get that like telly sound. That was a good telly riff right there. It was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the MH series. It's very S style or Strat style. Has a Floyd Rose, um, plays awesome. Strings are a little crusty on this one, so we'll have to change them out. But um, as a guitar itself, it plays really well. Check it out on roxymusic.com. If you buy it, then we have to change the strings. So yeah. do that. Yeah. Yes, we don't, I, get, I don't let strings leave that are nasty. Yeah, we take care of your, our guitars here. Yeah, cool. So next we have... We have something cool coming up next. This was yeah. fascinating to me when I found out about this thing. Yes. Um, it's a very interesting guitar. It's also a baritone seven string. Oh, um, that's too many strings, but we're gonna, for we're me, gonna, yes. we're gonna allow it. But for, there's for a lot of people, if you're into metal, which these guys do really well. Like this is kind of what their bread and butter is metal. Um, but they have a lot of different models. So this is a, it's called an EC model. 
It's modeled after, looks like a Les Paul. They do a really cool corner shape here, so it's very pointed at the corner on yeah, this. Yeah, it sticks out. Um, guitar, which is looks awesome. They, they, take, they make unique models out of their designs. I do too, and something that's you know probably not coming across on these videos is when I'm sitting right here, you know, the tops have this great arched shape, and most, most of them are dealing with that same thing. Yeah. yeah. They got some life, they got some contour on the top, and they look great. Yeah, so this one is very unique. So this one also has Fishman pickups. It's got the gold hardware. I like it on this guitar too. Contrast with the Blackwell. Mm -hmm. This binding is beautiful on the outside. It's got yeah, like it's a got a couple solid little layers line and of a layers. Little, yeah. yeah, I find that beautiful. Um, standard three pickup selector. Got a volume knob for the. Maybe. Maybe. We have a knob that doesn't work. That's what we have. Ah. A bridge volume knob. Interesting. I was not expecting that. It was backwards. So this is a bridge volume knob, and this is your neck volume knob, and then pop your. Yeah, that would make sense. Tone. It's a tone, tone. knob. Yeah. Do these split, or do they have a, a alternate voicing? It does voicing? have alternate voicing. Oh, that sounded good. Yep. Oh, very bright. Cool. I normally don't play seven strings, so I tend to get lost when I do. <laughs> um, I don't hear a ton of volume loss on that. No, I don't. That's... Cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Sounds great. So this guitar has a very unique feature that I have come to actually really like. We, we were floored by this when we first saw it. Yes. And we had to do some research to figure out what's going on yes. here. Tell us about this bridge. What's yeah. going on here? So this is called an Evertune bridge. And it's designed to stay in tune whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> um, it does knock out a little bit when the strings get old and stretched, which they're starting to. Um, but um, the idea of it is there's a spring system that keeps it in tune. Okay. So you can set it to do really cool things, but you don't have to. So on the B string, it is set so that when you bend it, it's not moving. You can see it's staying the same pitch. Sounds the same when I bend it or not. If you bend it too far, it eventually will go because there are it's, it's a spring limit. Like, like you said, it's a spring system in here yeah. that's pulling back on these individual saddles and working against your bend. Yes. Uh, yeah. But you don't have to set it that way. That's correct. When you set it, so I have the G string set correctly, that... Ah. So you can still have your vibrato and your, and your bending. Yeah. And now these can be set up to where, you know, you can control that level where that where that turns on to where yes. you can make it so there's no vibrato but a, a little extra bend will actually change your pitch yes. right and um, that can you be can customized. do that it's a little tricky um the hard part with doing that is when you bend it when it gets to the bend point it doesn't naturally incline up it goes to where it would pitch up oh so it, it kind of so it, it's going to sustain. It stays the same stays, note, but then jumps way up. Then jumps to where you're actually bent to. Oh, that's wild. Yeah. Oh. So like, yeah, it doesn't, I would not recommend doing that as mm -hmm. limiting. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> but, so, but you can make it so that your strings are going to stay in tune. Yes. And now even on that G string there, it's going to stay in tune yes. more than say a Strat that mm -hmm. doesn't have an ever tuned bridge. Yes. Right. Um, Yes, it's designed to stay in tune. Now the strings still get old and like stretch out past where it's supposed to go. That's gonna happen. Um, it's unfortunately an inevitable thing with doing with strings. However, there is a unique feature. If you are playing metal and you're riffing on and you don't, and you choke your, like if you, yeah, staying in tune. 
as so much as I, this guitar is not quite in tune yet. But, but I can imagine that if you're playing, you know, in this uh, drop D style, I guess on a baritone guitar, you're, it's drop some yeah. crazy. We're in drop A. Up. Drop A, there you go. So that's a low, <laughs> low B string yeah. that we're dropping down. So we can have that power chord with one yeah. finger. With, with that Evertune bridge, yeah, I imagine yeah. a lot of people are pulling these chords out of tune yes. when you're playing that style of music. Yeah. You pull it down and mm -hmm. you can bend that Which root. is something you, I would be careful about like using as a crutch. That's correct, I, I think so too. But. It really helps you if you're. If you're used to it and like you are used to not bending it out, but every night, like you're gonna do it at some point. Yeah, nobody's perfect. Um, yeah. I would, it's great tool for that is like, it's gonna keep it locked and you can set it for each individual string like we saw earlier. That's right. You, so you, you could have like your bottom three or four set to where they're going to always be that note that you set up. And you still have to tune it, right? I mean, yep. you still you still check your tuning before you start playing. Yes. Right? You do have to use, um, most of the time you don't have to tune it. Um, this is like the first time we've touched it in like six months. That's right. Um, I, and it's not really set up for drop A well. It's just, I put it there last week because someone was looking at it. <laughs> um, so we have to get it like set up. So it's really set for like B baritone. Um, and are these uh, two, these are where you adjust that? So this is where you adjust the action. Does an Allen wrench? Uh, no, there's a Evertune hex key that comes with Special it. Special tool and everything. Um, let me go grab it real quick. Now let's check the tuning on this because it is a little out. So we'll get it in. So that string's about right. So you tune it in this little spot Whoa. here. Yeah. So this adjusts the action, and this is where you tune. Oh, okay. That's what's out. So it's really similar to once you're set up and you, and you have your springs as tight or as loose as you want in there, you, you are kind of tuning the same way you would on a Floyd Rose with yep. the fine tuners. Very simple. You just need this key, which everyone comes with. Much better, now it's the time. Crazy. Yeah, it's a very unique bridge, and if you're looking to like get into metal and like you don't want to choke out your notes up here, check out an Ever Tune. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So we're moving on. Yep. We got. Uh, so we got two we got more, a... two more lines to check out. They do. LGD does have more. We just currently don't have them. So we're just we're showing what we have. So the next up we have is the Arrow series. The Arrow series. Um, it's well, we got the Green Boy here. Yep. It's based off the Flying V. Um, oh, okay. so this one also has a Floyd Rose, a volume control in here. Got, if you're into reverse headstocks, this one has a reverse headstock. <laughs> you're into... I don't think that uh, the Flying V guitars are very good for sitting down and playing. They are not. <laughs> <laughs> if like you're wanting a that. guitar to sit and play with, this is not the one. However, if you're wanting to rock out, like, it's really cool. You can do cool things for yeah. it. Well, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's probably the most rock star looking guitar shape. The V. So this one is, the tag fell off. I think it's $6.99. I think so too. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. Uh, $6.99, we'll put the correct price on the thing as we're filming and editing. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> David's supposed to know this. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's leaving us, hanging us um, out to dry right now. Also has a Floyd Rose. Only one volume control, which I find cool and more useful. I think that is a good move. Especially, uh, I think if uh, you're in the lead world, yeah. right? Yeah. It's gonna sound the way it's gonna sound. You've yeah. probably got your pedal board. Yeah. It's cooking and everything. All I really should have to worry about is, am I loud enough yep. or too loud? Right. Yeah. That's now there is utility in balancing out your volumes. Oh, absolutely. Like if you're in the middle pickup, you can pick which one's louder. That's cool effect. Um, I don't do it that much. You don't? Well, I guess I don't really have a guitar that does it. Yeah. All my guitars only have one volume. I know that's a, it's kind of apples and oranges, but in the in the bass world, uh, a lot of times rolling off one of the 
volumes of your pickups mm -hmm. will give you a little bit more clarity with yeah. actually having less coming from one. So I, sure. I don't know if that, does it, do you notice it's, that? It's, yeah, it's the same concept. When I was doing bass, you know, on my um, jazz bass, I had to do it all the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, Is there anything else that uh, stands out as different besides like this crazy body shape here? We got binding um, standard along the tuners. fingerboard. It is a Floyd Rose, so it has a locking nut. Um, the fingerboard is bound. This color is beautiful. This m military green. Yeah, the military green. I do like that, the soft green. Yeah, it looks like you're at a boot camp. <laughs> um, yeah. Does that make you want to practice more when you think about being at boot camp? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it has a inject here. And then we got one more guitar to show you. The, the EX. Okay, I better yeah. take that for you. Yeah. It's based off a of Gibson Explorer. Um, it's a very cool model. But this one is heavier than the last one. And there's more body. There's the jack. It's kind of got a fatter neck, but the action's really low. It's pretty tight, huh? So you sit up. Does that have the biggest neck out of the ones that we've played so far today, do you think? Uh, no, this one does. The well, seven that, the seventh string, obviously, um, that's going to make a... I think it's just a different shape, actually. I think it's wider here, but it's pretty thin. Does it get back. flatter as you go up to the top? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe a little. Maybe, maybe you can tell differently. Maybe a little bit. No, it seems pretty consistent, really. Yeah. It just kind of, I think it's thick this way more than this way. Yeah. Yeah. So this one also has, uh, I think these are LTD pickups. It's also $5.99. Okay. Um, it's based off a of Gibson Explorer. Um, it's got a stop tail bridge and no locking tuners, unfortunately. But you can upgrade that later. Yeah, you can buy new tuners. But so this is a great, you know, this has a super unique look, obviously. Mm -hmm. And it's in an affordable price range for yeah. somebody, you know, looking to step their game up and, you know, have something that's going to set you apart with a, with a look. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, this has been our LTD re review. If you guys have any other questions, we'd love to hear about them. If you like these guitars, you want to try them out, come to Roxy Music. And if you want to pick one up, Go to roxymusic.com. Thanks.